Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we're out at Volo Auto Museum, and I'm with Jay Grams in charge of sales here, and uh, today we have a car with an extremely long name. Jay, what do we have here today? A uh, 59 Ford Fairlane Galaxy Skyliner. Galaxy 500 Skyliner. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Ford, 59 Fair Ford Galaxy 500 Fairlane Skyliner. Yeah, okay, you got go. all that. I don't know if it'll fit in the title, but wait till yeah. you see it. And this one, what makes it so special is in 59, besides being a convertible, it usually didn't have this extra thing called air conditioning from the factory. So how long have you had this one? Uh, this one's been here a few months. Now that's long for Volo Auto yeah. Museum. So this one needs a new home. We want to feature it because, well, sooner or later, maybe you'll be the owner of it. So the story to this one is, how'd you find this one? A uh, collector up in Minnesota. Ooh, yeah, okay. He's a Ford collector and uh, hard top retractable with air conditioning, as rare as can be, so I had to buy it. Wow. And I want to just comment on the sales process at Volo. Very good process on picking a car because these guys don't pick every car. I've, I've been here many times and I've seen some very impressive cars. I know friends of mine who have bought from Volo. I won't go too much into the sales process because, well, this car will sell itself. It has the fender ornaments. Dual mirrors, they're the, pretty fancy mirrors. Look at the intricacy on these mirrors. I mean, you could see my hand through there. I hope you can. And you have two of them. I don't even show, talk about the styling. Even your antenna has a flare to it. The windshield that just wraps around. But this was the badge that caught my attention. Air conditioned by Ford Select Air. Good luck finding that. Imagine that, there was such a big deal. It got its own chrome badge. Houses didn't have air back then, or very few did. That's true. I mean, uh, most houses didn't have air. We specifically, I'm gonna step back so we can show that from the side. We're gonna show you with the top up. And the top up, you'll see, obviously it's a hard top. Let me let you meditate on that. And after we walk around it, do the interior under the hood when we fire it, we'll take the top down and walk around it one more time. Some really interesting cues on this car. Loved the chrome piece right there. And then even the gas, how it, a nice curvature to that there. A little bit unique even in 59 because I don't know when it started that the gas tank was in the middle behind the gas cap. But here's where you start to see this name. We've got Galaxy. And by the way, the fender or the wheel skirts. Yeah, I was going to point that out. Those are polished stainless steel. Polished stainless steel. The big white wall tire behind it. Your 50s fins. See the exhaust into the bumper. Those are somewhat fake. The exhaust uh, is routed down below them. The exhaust doesn't actually come through. Oh this. yeah, look at this. You wouldn't want to get dirty exhaust on your bright chrome. So they gave you the, the faux exhaust with the real exhaust here. And this is the space age, so take a look at those rocket tail lights. We'll step on the brakes in a moment. But here's your Fairlane 500. And although this one you can see, well, not yet. Let's okay. not. Uh, let me show the interior, okay. and we'll show the interior in a second with it down too. But here's what it would look like with it up. Take a look at the artwork on the door. So let me get you closer. You've got the aluminum. The this is almost feels like leather. I'm sure it's vinyl. But then another strip of vinyl with a body color. And actually, it's not body color. It's more of a gold. You can see the difference there. Here's your Ford tag. A wonderful steering wheel sharing power steering in the center of it. Here's your dash. That's rare to see that in a car like this. 
Now, I was surprised, Jay, when you told me this car was a Minnesota car, because if you would have said it was a California car, because Minnesota is relatively cool. Well, that's where I bought it. These cars uh, get shipped all over the country now. Collectors uh, are in all corners of the country, and yeah, they get moved around. And there's that air conditioning button. And you can see the air, the wipers, the temp, the ignition, the lights, and even on here, all of the clarity, the word Ford, and your station's really, really nice with the ashtray and the glove box. Let's, uh, let's take a look under the hood for just a moment before we fire it up and then take the top down. opposite way. I went to the front. I went too far. Well, that's nice. Well, you're not missing that air filter for sure. It's a 332 cubic inch motor. And here's our really rare air. One thing too, when you fire, we'll have to play these horns because it's got like a nice probably 50 sound. Let me just show the other side. I'll show that with the top, with the hood open, especially since it has that unique look to it. Yeah, that's nice. You know what's nice about that idea too is this way, if you were ever driving, you know, you don't have your hood pop up. No I've had that happen. A rare air on a car of this time frame. All right, let's fire it, Jay, and then we'll uh, listen to it idle. We'll step on the brakes, we'll blow the horn, and then we'll show them the magic top. Pretty standard horn. Squeak for air conditioner, letting us know it's there. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll let you, sh let's step on the brakes for just a moment. Show our tail lights there. Nice, our turbines. All right, well, do me a favor, throw it in reverse for a second. Oh, no tail lights there, that's all right. Okay, put it back in drive. We'll close the hood and we'll show them the magic. We go. Let's have you shut that door. Let me stand back for just a moment. for one second show them what's back there so here's what's gonna happen back here just so you can see that you can see all the hydraulics that you're gonna be seeing here in just a moment let me actually get closer to that this caution sticker and look at all the hydraulics back here. Let me show you one more thing, which is right there. Hopefully you can see that okay. All right, I'll stand back and we'll keep production going. It's a convertible. That's gorgeous.
Jim, let's have you shut it off and hop out for a second. I want to show them these seats too. And might I add, the sun is helping us because now that the sun's on them, let me stand right there. They sparkle. And you should just be able to see that without me doing anything. And take a look at how smooth the back end is. And now you can take a look at that. Just dreamy. Well, we're going to take this one for a ride. Let you enjoy a little top down on a day like today. Jay, what do you think? I think that sounds great. I was just thinking, what would your Ford dealer say if you went to order a new car and you said, I want my interior to be black, white, gold, and I want it to sparkle with chrome piping? <laughs> He'd say, you're in the wrong place. Yeah, they would say, you're gray or charcoal. Yeah, right. Those are your choices. And that's how we were in the God Bless America. We'll see you on the ride. So, Jay, we're taking out the 59 Ford. Galaxy 500 Fairlane retractable top with factory air yeah. on what you could see is a perfect day as the sun's in our face. And uh, this one is just a wonderful cruiser. And uh, we're going to enjoy this one today. Yeah, it's so, a big boat. This is a big car. A lot so, of iron. So you sell, you sell iron here. Yeah. Um, how long have you been selling cars here? I... I made my first car sale at 15. <laughs> so about so, three, so about 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. Well, and, uh, we sell about 1,000 cars a year. That's so crazy. So we get quite a few coming in and out our doors. That's amazing. I'm going to focus on this. Yeah, I'm glad you came out today. It's fun getting the cars out on the road, yeah. exercising. Yeah, no, I mean, it's... This one's just a dream. I mean, this can't be floating anymore on the road. There are no bumps, zero. You can see I am holding the camera. There is no shaking going on. This is just a wonderful cream puff car on a cream puff day looking like a big cream puff. This is awesome. It's probably too heavy to feel the bumps. <laughs> Our steering is almost too easy. <laughs> and it picks up well. Yeah, I'm just touching it, I guess. Someone asked, what's the miles to the gallon on this? I said, it's not miles to the gallon you need to be concerned about, it's miles per gallon. That's right. There's more smiles per gallon in this than any other car you'll see. This one's just a treat. It's the best of all worlds. It's air conditioned, hard top. When the top is up, it's a hard top. Put the top down, you have convertible. It's just the best. Well, Jay, what a treat. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story, and I'm looking forward, I always look forward to coming to Volo. Fun, family, friendly place, and of course, sell a lot of cars. We'll have some fun. All right, anytime. Come Thanks.